Hola familia, welcome to my channel Mika Creates. I'm Mika, thanks for stopping by today. On today's episode, we will be making arroz con gandules, and that is green pigeon peas with rice and some pork. We will be using a pound of cubed pork and uh, one and a half pounds of uh, neck bone, pork neck bone. And so some people call that espinazo in Spanish. And so let's go over the ingredients. The ingredients are roasted red, red bell pepper, roasted red bell pepper, and two bay leaves. So I'm making eight cups. Olives, stuffed olives, and they're stuffed with pimiento. And this is sazon. It's with achiote and um, culantro. So sazon. Some of these are going to be in the link in the description box. And I have it linked. So all you do is click on the link and you can purchase it directly. Here are the olives. So the olives I cut in three. This is about a half a cup. So I get the whole olives, half a cup of a, of a whole olive, and then I cut them into three pieces. Um, a tablespoon of cumin or cumin, uh, comino. Probably about half a cup of chopped onions. Two cans of green pigeon peas or gandules. This will also be linked. Sofrito. So sofrito, this is a base uh, that most Puerto Ricans use and we use it for rice, stews, soups, beans, and it's delicious. And so I have my mom's recipe that I will be linking along with this video. Two tablespoons of chicken, chicken um, bouillon. This is chicken bouillon. Two tablespoons of salt, probably more to taste. Achiote oil. I make achiote oil. You could use just regular oil, but I use achiote oil. And basically, what you're going to do is um, the achiote is anato seeds. Anato seeds are red. They look like little rocks, and you put them in a pot and you put um, about eight ounces of oil to that to the one packet of anato, and you just fry it up um, just to get the color. It's only for color. So if you don't want to use the annatto seeds, that's fine. Just use um, oil. And so what I do is I store it in here. So you're probably going to use a spoonful of oil, a large spoonful of oil. Okay. And garlic, salt or garlic powder, eight cups of rice. I am making a huge batch because everybody loves arroz con gandules and so I'm putting batches in Tupperware uh, to give to my friends. And then lastly, a caldero. This is my mom's caldero or um, an olla. Um, so this is kind of a different pot. This is not like a regular pot. Um, it's made differently than a regular pot. It's not Teflon. Um, this is old school. Again, this is my mom. I don't know. This is my mom's, um, or it used to be my mom's. Okay, so now we're gonna start the cooking segment. And I'm going to use the anato oil. So this is already hot. It's extremely hot. So I'm gonna use one spoonful of anato oil. And I'm gonna lower my heat because this is extremely hot. And I'm going to put in my meat. And I'm going to move this meat around. And now we're going to start adding. So we're going to add the Goya. And I would say that this is about one and a half teaspoons of Goya. And I'm going to add my two packets 
of sasson. And this sasson is from, from Goya, and it's culandro and achiote. I'm going to add some garlic salt, and I would say um, it's a generous portion, and it's probably about a teaspoon. I'm going to add two bay leaves. One, two, well I have a small one, so I'll throw it in there. And I'm going to add my sazón, I mean my sofrito, or my condimento. My mom used to call it condimento, so I call it condimento. Now, that's one big heaping teaspoon of condimento. I'm going to do two. There we go. Now everybody's sofrito the way that they make it is different. Every family has a different way of making sofrito. And so again, I will link the way that I make the sofrito, or like my mom calls it, condimento. So that you can learn how to do it her way. So it'll taste like her food. Now I want to give a shout out to Alejandra because Alejandra was the one who asked me to make this so she sent me a message and she said can you please show us the recipe, teach us how to make um, your mother's arroz con gandules and so if this is your first time watching my YouTube um, my parents have deceased and have been deceased for a while and so um, this is pretty much what we have you know my mom is her food and her pots and uh, I don't know, I just feel so privileged to be able to have them, you know. And we're going to throw in some pimientos or some roasted, some roasted um, peppers. You can cut this up, you can leave it whole, but it'll break up. And then you're going to have some for um, decor when you decorate your your platter. You can add it on top. See how that's broken up? Now I put, you don't have to put the huesitos, you don't have to put the bones, but I put the bones in because I love sucking on the bones when I have this. I absolutely love, you actually don't even have to put meat in this, uh, only if you want to, but for me growing up, this is the way my mom made it. So I'm showing you how to do that. So this is my mother's recipe, again. And I'm going to use two teaspoons of Nor Suiza, or chicken bouillon, chicken flavor, chicken bouillon. There we go. I think you can see that. Yeah. So here's one. And two. So my mom used to make this dish for holidays, this rice dish. And we used to have it with pernil. This big, huge, incredibly, beautifully delicious. It looks beautiful to the eye and it tastes delicious. And pernil is a roast pork. And uh, you put it in the oven. Uh, but my family loves it so much. We don't just eat it for Christmas or New Year's. We also eat it um, any time of the year. You can put it in the crock pot and, and it's kind of like carnitas, but it has a different flavor. So we're going to let this cook up. I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit. So I currently have my heat up to medium high. Because I do want these trocitos of pork, trocitos de puerco. So you can see how big they are. They're not very big. You can see how um, 
they're not so large very small so they're about an inch in size We are going to, I forgot to add the onions, and I added the comino. So I'm going to go ahead and add a tablespoon of comino and cumin. It's already smelling pretty good. And what I didn't tell you was, we need two cans of tomato sauce. So we're going to add two cans of tomato sauce. Here. Okay, so now we're going to add the gandules. And that's two cans of gandules. Notice I added the water. So this is eight cups of rice. Because I've added the water of the gandules, I'm only going to put eight cups of water when I'm ready to put the water in. I'm going to move this around. Look at how beautiful that color is. That is the achiote oil and the sazon because it has the anato, the achiote. At this point, I haven't added any salt. So I'm going to try this, and it is so good already, and I haven't added any salt because remember I added garlic salt, and garlic salt already has salt, and I added the olives, which are very salty, and, um, and I added the seasoning salt, which is also very salty. So I love the way this tastes. However, I'm gonna add more salt and I'm gonna add a full teaspoon of salt, a heaping teaspoon of salt. So remember, we're talking about eight cups of rice here. Let's do two. We're doing two. Two heaping tablespoons. Like I said, if you don't like olives, you don't have to put olives in. But this is my mom's recipe, so it requires olives. Oh my goodness. That smells and tastes so good. So the gandules, right now, they're green. But they will be turning dark brown. They will be turning brown later on. Alright, so now we are ready for our eight cups of rice. Now I've washed my rice. This is eight cups of rice. I'm gonna add it in here. I love this strainer. There we go. And again, I'm gonna mix this up. I'm gonna lower the heat. Um, to medium. When I'm done mixing, when I'm done mixing, now you're probably asking, you haven't put the water in yet. So why are you mixing it? Well, because I want to make sure that every grain 
has flavor and color. Every single grain. It has flavor and color before I put my eight cups of water. So this is gonna cook on low for 30 minutes. So let me add the water. All right. See how it's covering it up? Oh yeah, oh yeah. At this point, leave the rice uncovered for five to 10 minutes so that the water will evaporate and the rice will dry up a bit. Um, so the level of the water in the rice should only be at the very, very top of the rice. Um, so there shouldn't be that much water left. And then we'll cover it for 30 minutes. And I'm now gonna put it on low, in between low and medium. And I'm going to leave it like that for about 30 minutes. So I'm going to put on my timer. Start. And we'll come back in 30 minutes. Okay, so we're back. So here's 30 minutes later. Look at all that steam and it smells delicious in my house. I can see there's some that aren't completely done yet, but most of it is. Oh my gosh. Look at this. My mama would be so proud. My mama would be so proud. So this rice is almost done. It needs about 10 minutes. And the way that this cooks is it's all steam. You see that? Oh, I have an idea. So this is eight cups of rice. And again, it's because I'm gonna, um, I'm sharing it with some friends of mine that love my cooking and love this rice so every year we have a big christmas party and i make it so uh, you really gotta get it from the bottom and bring it in the middle now you don't want to get the very very bottom because the very very bottom is pegao and pegao means that it sticks to the bottom the pan and in my family everybody fights over that so it's the little hard crispy part from the bottom so if you know anything about Korean um, food if you know anything about um, kimchi fried rice kimchi fried rice it's the same way and the bottom part is the crispy part and everybody wants that so that's kind of what I'm talking about so I've stirred this pretty darn good and like I said most of it is done and so I'm just going to cover this up for another um, 15 minutes. And it'll be done in 15 minutes. See, this part is all done. See how fluffy that looks? Oh my gosh. Woo! Mmm! You gotta taste it. You gotta taste it. So I'm going to put the timer on for another 15. Okay? And again, it's in between medium and low. So um, medium, low, I don't know, in between low and medium. All right, see you back in 15 minutes. Okay, we're back. So here it is. It took an hour to cook this, or 45 minutes. 
So it was 30 minutes. Um, the first time we moved it around and now it is ready. Everything is cooked. Do you see that? Oh my gosh, it's so good. So good. So let's make a plate. Here's a bay leaf. I'm going to remove the bay leaf. And I'm going to get some meat here. So here is one plate. I love the bones. Did I say I love the bones? Because I love the bones. I love the bones. I love the bones. And again, this is on medium. Uh, this is on medium. On um, medium low, I guess you would call it. See here the olives. See the olive? Mm hmm. And I'm going to turn this off because it's ready. And we are going to try it. So we're going to try this. And I'm going to get a spoon. Let's see what it tastes like. <laughs> Alejandra, esto es para ti. Que lo disfrutas. Te mando muchos besitos. Qué rico. Mi casa huele como mami. El arrocito es como el de mami. This rice tastes like my mom's rice and it's delicious. Mm -hmm. Do you see the bones there? Let's eat one of them. Oh my. It smells like Christmas in my house. This reminds me of Christmas. I have so many fond memories of my mom. Mmm. Just suck that little guy. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I'm bending down so you guys can see me, but this is super good. I really hope to try it. Like I said, some of these ingredients, if you don't know where to buy them, I'll have a link in the subscription box. Click on that link and it'll take you to Valle Caldero or to the Sazon or um, to all the different things that you can buy on Amazon. I hope you like it. Thank you, Familia. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. Bye. Mi gente, this is so good. This is so delicious. Welcome to my channel, Mika Creates. Thanks for watching today. Hola, familia. I like garlic salt. Um, I usually use garlic powder to control the salt, but I'm going to use garlic salt today. And so I don't know what, I don't even want to guess what this is, um, but the difference is, is that it's flat and it's wide. So it's flat, has a longer, it's circumference of flatness is, is um, see that? It's just flat, all oh, this whole area is flat and then it's wide. And so that's what we're looking at. It comes with the top. Do you like the bone? Olives. No bone. and I can't wait for you to try it. And if you try this recipe, what I want you to do is I want you to send me a comment and let me know how it came out. So again, you can make four cups and use one can of arroz of gandules and make sure that you put five cups of water, okay? I know I'm making my mama proud right now. Alejandra, este platito es para ti. Así es que disfrútalo. 
me vas a tener que mandar un mensaje diciéndome cómo te salió. And I hope it reminds her of my mama. Don't forget to subscribe. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Bye, mi gente. I'll see you soon.